Hi y'all, this is Lady T, ZTD coming back at you with a quick outfit of the day. Um, I had to go, um, this is a Friday, put yourself first, Friday outfit of the day, a little rambling, let y'all know what's going on with Lady T on Friday, March the 1st. Yeah, y'all, we in March the 1st, I'm so happy about that. So today I had to uh, go up to my daughter's school, Zori's school, um, she's in 10th grade to go to high school and talk to her guidance counselor. So this is what I decided to wear. It's really cold. It's like 45 degrees outside. It's March 1st and I don't know when we're going to get any sunlight. Because I mean we've been in like the third day of greatness. <laughs> so this is what I decided to wear. Um, my hair is twist, clean and twist out, twisted up under this cap. Uh, I have my bonnet on under this cap and it's, it's really, really cold. So this came in handy dandy. Okay, I have this little turban on. This little, not turban, my little, my little beanie on and these earrings uh, that match the kind of like a rust tone outfit I have on a uh, sweater it's something like a poncho uh, I have another kind of like turtleneck underneath here uh, and I have on this as well because it's cold and I ain't feel like putting on the coat y'all so that's why I have them too um, this I've had for a while I got this from Lane Bryant years ago it has buttons on the sleeve all the way down the sleeve here, three quarters, three quarter, three quarter length sleeve, and um, it looks like a sweater comes out from underneath, but it's attached to the poncho. Uh, jewelry wise, again, you saw my earrings, and this bracelet was thrifted, wooden uh, bracelet was thrifted. Let's see, that's all I have on today as far as my jewelry, just trying to keep it simple and you know, casual because I am going into this school to talk to her guidance counts and I didn't want to be too overdressed and too you know too much accessories. Moving on down, pan it down. This is the um the punch y'all have on and this is how it splits on the side here. And I have on some uh floral type leggings leggings and it has all the different colors in it. Pretty much the same color of the poncho. And I just have on the um snow boots or just the boots with the um fur on it right here something flat comfortable easy to walk in okay the purse I chose to wear is this emerald green purse that I got from uh, TJ Maxx y'all seen this on uh, other outfits of the day I chose this one because it breaks up some of that uh, color that I have on and uh, it's a pop of color so I decided to carry this is very very easy to carry you can carry it on your shoulder as well cross your shoulder if you like across your chest or you have the option of wearing it carrying it like this love the studs on this purse the hardware on this purse and this is a Steve Matten purse okay so there's something simple and easy easy breezy to run up to the school okay so that was my outfit of the day let's switch it over a little bit so I go to the guidance counselor, you know, I try to stay, I am a stay at home mom, so that's my business, uh, the work that I do is to keep my family together, keep everything uh, at home together, and uh, make sure my daughter, the last child in the house, make sure her grades are on point, make sure she is where she needs to be and have the things that she needs. I mean, that's just like any mother. Any mother will do that whether she works outside the home or not. So I go up to the high school, I meet with her guidance counselor, and uh, she's a very, very nice lady. I was so happy that she has a nice guidance counselor. Um, this is my second time going up there just talking to her. The first time my husband and I went together. Uh, and so this, sec this the second time she went, I encouraged her to go in there and talk to her herself. And this time it was a need for me to go with her today because she is an A and B student. And I'm not bragging on my child anyway. I mean, I, I love my child. I'm proud of both of them. Both of them are very, very smart kids. Uh, my son, on one hand, is a very, very smart kid. He gets stuff real, real quick. My daughter is a smart child, but she has to work for her grades, okay? So she started failing in math, geometry. And I don't know nothing about math. I'm not a math person. You have some people that love math, don't, that get math. You have some people that don't get math. And I'm, I'm over here with these folks. Now, and then you have the creative people that are very, very creative, and then you have some people down that is, that's not creative. So, 
Um, with that being said, we, you know, my husband is very, very smart. He was able to help us to a certain limit. And then we was just like, Hey, we don't know what the heck is going on. Some of this homework is beyond our years, you know? Okay. So I went in there to talk to her because, you know, you got A's and B's and then you see this big C F C D she's failing in math. So, oh, no, 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 we can't have that. You know, I got to see what's going on. Plus she's stressing out about it. If you have a child that is not used to uh, get F's. A D, I mean D's, you know, you got A's and B's and then you got that D, that F's and she starts stressing out. She's crying. She don't understand it. We over here, we, our hands are tied because, you know, we don't understand it. So it's time to get some outside help. So I asked her, I said, what does the math teacher have tutoring? You know, offer tutoring? No, mom. She said she don't offer tutoring. I'm going by what she said. Okay. So Doug and I, we, we decided to hire a tutor. She's coming in on Saturday, Saturday, a tutor. But I go up there today, found out she does have tutoring. She tutored before and after. Didn't know nothing about it. And then I go in there, to my surprise, see that she's dropped down to another seat in lit. Oh, what is going on? She didn't know she had dropped down another level grade. She in there crying because she's like I said, she don't want any bad grades. She's an A, B student. So she's upset. I'm shocked because I didn't even know. And uh, the lady just printed out, printed out her reference printer. <laughs> I was like, Lord have mercy. Y'all ever been in the tour, uh, uh, office, a school uh, meeting, counseling meeting, and you go in there thinking you got all your ducks in a row, what you're getting ready to talk about, and then they crack your face with some other stuff. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I blame myself because I wasn't staying on top of things as far as her emailing the uh, teacher, uh, looking at the math teacher's website. I was just going by what Zori was saying. And I'm, I'm just saying, we can't go by what, we love our children, but we can't go by everything they say. I'm believing that they did not have any tutoring to offer, which is unreal, because my son went to that school. They had tutoring for him. And all of a sudden, I'm believing what she's saying. They have tutoring, y'all. So now I got a guy that's coming on Saturday. And I have the schedule of the math teacher uh, tutoring class before and after. So I will be utilizing that, plus paying this man an hour, hourly rate to two. To tutor Zori. So that's what I have to do to get her grade on, on point. Okay. So we have to do these things. Stay connected. Sometimes I try to, I try to give her a little inch, uh, to, um, show her maturity level, show that, you know, you have to be independent. You're going to be 16. You get ready to go into 11th grade in August. However, I can't believe everything she say. I don't believe everything she say, but on that accord, I thought everything was on point and I, and I fell off was checking behind her and to my surprise I go to a guidance counseling meeting and get my face cracked. <laughs> so we are on top of things now. She was reassured that we're not at a point where she can't come out this hole and get that grade up. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable. She was feeling defeated and feeling like a failure and I don't know why she was feeling that way. She's a shy child. You all know so everybody is not the same. You have a child that's really outgoing, outspoken, uh, assertive. Then you have a child that's really quiet, hold things in and suffer without even telling you what's going on. And I mean, that's not me. Uh, that's just her personality. That's not her father person. That's just Zori. And we have to accept that she's a quiet child. She don't want nobody to think that she's dumb and all this stuff she's saying. You know, I said, are you kidding me? The dumbest thing would to do would be not to say anything, not to bring it to my attention, not to meet with the counselor, not to meet with your teacher. You just kept your mouth closed. You are a smart child. So I'm constantly uplifting her and reassuring her that this is the right thing to do. And so, so I, I was just feeling some kind of way, y'all, going into the high school, all the kids walking around. Going into the high school, and nowadays with her school, I know every school with everything's going on in, in, in the news with school, you got to uh, take a picture, you got to get your name, you got to show your ID, you got to show your, uh, I almost get some blood, you know, to check to make sure you're on the list. So I had to go through all that process. Then I go to another room, uh, got to sign, sign in, got to, uh, you know, they got to make sure I, I did my first step. So it's like a process before I even get to the guidance counseling, to, before I even get to my child. You know, I'm like, Lord, how much, but I'm so glad they have that set up that way. So that's what my first part of the day has been. It's now almost two o'clock. I ain't had a meal yet, a lunch, and I'm about to stop. I'm going to jump off. But, um, you know, just making sure that, you know, you, you, you ladies out there, your mothers and fathers out there are people that have a guardianship of a child. Please be involved in your child's grades. 
uh, stay on top of things. I learned if I slack off a little bit thinking that she can handle things, it's not always true. Um, I'm thinking everything is okay and it's not always true. You can't even give a little slack when it comes to these kids because they are little people. They are little people thinking that they are adults and she is just not an adult yet as far as I am concerned as far as being independent about her grades as of yet. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this late, this uh, rambling. Put yourself first. I am putting myself first. By now, I'm getting ready to go get me a little, a little nice, little light lunch. And I appreciate you guys uh, listening. This is Lady T Z C D coming back at you with a quick video. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much. Bye. Peace.